Hello students, how are you all? I hope that you all are good and we have successfully finished the units and uh, measurements topic. In our last lecture that we have discussed about our uh, previous year JE mains questions uh, from that chapter. Okay. And uh, today we are going to start a new chapter that is a uh, kinematics. Okay. So in this session that we are going to discuss about uh, what is a kinematics, what is the meaning of motion in a straight line, what is the meaning of frame of reference and what is rest what is motion what is displacement what is distance all these things that we are going to discuss in today's session okay so my name is rakesh kanaganti welcome to our beautiful physics channel rakesh sir physics shall we start the session right what is the session today kinematics right so what is the meaning of kinematics have a look the study of motion of an object without considering the cause of motion without considering the cause of motion is called what kinematics are you getting so what is the meaning of kinematics the study of motion of an object without considering the cause of motion so just we are saying that the object is moving but it does not say the cause of motion why the object is moving what is the reason behind that the motion of an object it is not discussed it discussed only the motion of an object and it also it can also describes it can also describes the motion of an object in a space and a time in a space and a time are you getting so it, it can also describe the motion of an object in space and time how the object is moving in a space with respect to two time so all these things were given by kinematics are you getting okay so i am taking a one example have a look right here is a car let us consider this is a an ambassador car okay ambassador car is look like a car or it look like a taj mahal i don't know so let us consider this is a car and uh, the new position of the car the initial position of the car let us say capital a be the initial position of the car okay so this is a uh, after time t the next position of the car and uh, C, the next position of the car after some time T1. Let us say with respect to, to the with respect to the time, the position of the object will be changes. Now, one thing I want to do that is I'm just uh, joining the I'm just uh, joining these three points C, A and B, and B and C. Have a look. Which line you got? This is a straight line. Are you getting? When I was joining the successive positions of this object. I am just got a straight line. So, what is the meaning behind this? Have a look. The line joining, the line joining, J O I N I N G. If any spelling mistakes are there, please excuse me. Okay, now excuse me. The line joining successive <coughs> positions of an object gives a straight line gives a straight line then the object then the object is said to be in a straight line motion are you getting the line joining the successive positions of an object gives a straight line then we can say that the object is making a straight line motion so this is our topic that we are going to discuss in today's session what is the topic what is the chapter that we are going to discuss motion in a straight line motion in a straight line so whatever the concepts that we are going to dealing in this chapter all are making a straight line motion that means one dimensional motion that means translational motion that means what translational 
motion. Are you getting? So one dimensional motion or straight line motion or translational motion. All are gives a same meaning. Are you getting? So what is the chapter that we are going to discuss? In a kinematics in this subject, what is the chapter that we are going to discuss? Motion in a straight line. What is that? Motion in a straight line. Are you getting ma? Okay, thank you ma. Right. So this is our chapter. So how the object are, how the objects are moving in our chapter in a straight line. Have a look. Let us uh, we discuss about our frame of reference. This is the frame of reference. Have a look. What is the meaning of frame of reference? In a slope chapter, already I told you that. How to find the position of an object in a given plane? Okay, just we take a x, y axis, those two are perpendicular to each other. And here just we have placed a point or any object. Now the position of the object is given by from the origin it is at an x distance. And from the origin along y axis it is at a y distance. Then the position of the object is given by x comma y. And if you want to find the slope, just draw the straight line from origin. Okay, or the line which is joins the two points in a given plane is called a slope. Okay, so what is the direction? What is tan theta? And all these things that we are discussed in a slope concept. If you are not watched that video, please visit that uh, lecture and watch that lecture. Motion, uh, sorry, basic mathematics used in your physics. Slope by Rakesh sir. You will get about what is slope, how to find the slope, okay, how to find the distance between the given two points in a plane. All these things that you will get in that lecture, okay. I am just writing directly here. Just taking a rectangular coordinate system. This rectangular coordinate system consisting of uh, three mutually perpendicular axes called uh, x, y, and z axes. Okay, x axis, y axis, and z axis. So the point where these three axes, the point where these three axes are coincide perpendicularly. So that point is called what origin. Already I am discussed in a slope concept. Okay, so this is also called as what origin. Or a fixed point, or a reference point. Reference point. Are you getting? So, what is a fixed point or reference point do? So, with respect to this point, we measure all the measurements. So, that is the work of what origin or fixed point. So, in this coordinate system, I am taking a point A or an object A placed at this position. So, this is the position of point A. Now, what are the coordinates of this point A? How to take the coordinates? So, just this point A is at a x distance from the origin along x axis, and this point A is a, at a y distance from the origin along y axis, and this point is at a uh, z distance from origin along z axis. Now, the coordinates of this point A is what? x comma y comma z are the coordinates of the point A or position of the point A. So, therefore, the position of point A is equal to how much? X comma Y comma Z. So this is the position of the point A. Are you getting? Now, this point A is changing its position. This point A is changing its position. Now I want to find the change in position of point A with respect to origin in a given time. Are you getting? In a given time, how the position of the object will be changes with respect to fixed point. I wanted to find. I mean introduce the word time. So to find the time, what we have to place? We have to place the clock in this coordinate system. What is this? Clock. Clock gives what? How the position of the object is changes in a given time with respect to the origin. So now this coordinate system along with a clock this coordinate system along with a clock is called what frame of reference what is a clock why we are placed this clock so to find the, how the position of the point a changes in a given time with respect to origin gives by what frame of reference so now the coordinate system along with a clock is called what frame of reference is called what frame of reference are you getting right so next uh, 
I'm going to discuss about the rest. What is the meaning of rest? After completion of your session, we will take the rest, sir. Is it clear, sir? Yes, sir. So rest means if the position of the object, if the position of the object does not changes, does not changes with respect to fixed point, fixed point or fixed point. Or fixed point does not changes with respect to fixed point or time then it is at a rest position then we can say that the object is at rest position are you getting if the position of an object if the position of an object does not changes with respect to fixed point or time with respect to fixed point or time then we can say that the object is at a rest position are you getting right motion what is the meaning of motion opposite to this so what is that if the position of the object position of the object changes with respect to fixed point or origin or time with respect to fixed point or time then we can say that the object is at a motion then we can say that the object is making a motion or the object is in motion so with respect to this fixed point the object will be changes its position the object will be changes its position or with respect to time the object or the point will be changes its position then we can say that the object is in motion are you getting any doubt i hope that you are understood so pause the video and write the notes three Two, one, go. All right. So our next concept is a uh, displacement and a distance. What is distance and what is displacement? Have a look. So here I am going to discuss about uh, distance. Okay. So what is the meaning of distance? Distance means what? Have a look. So example, here I am taking a uh, point A and uh, here I am taking point B. A person is uh, initially standing at a point A. Okay, so he went to do point A to point B like this. Point A to point B like this. So let us say this is the path one. This is what path one. Ah, uh, in a next time he just move from point A to point B like this. So let us say this is what path number two. In a third case, he can move from point A to point B like this. So this is what third case. What is the meaning of the distance? Have a look. The length of a, the length of a actual path, the length of a actual path between initial and the final position, initial and the final position is called a distance. Is called what? Distance. Are you getting? What is distance? The length of a actual path between initial and the final position is called what? Distance. So from this uh, diagram, have a look. What according to definition, the length of a actual path between initial and final position. The length of a actual path. So this is the first path, and this is the second path, and this is the third path. Let us say. So the length of a actual path between initial and final position. Have a look. This is also distance. This is the distance. This is the distance because they are the length of a actual path between initial and the final position. Are you getting? So one, two, three are called what? Distances. Therefore, from figure one comma two comma and three are what? Distances. One comma two comma three are called what? Distances. Are you getting right? So the SI units for SI units for distance. The SI units for distance are meters. SI units for distance are what meters. And now distance is a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity. 
sir what is the meaning of scalar sir so scalar quantity means it has only magnitude it has only magnitude it has only magnitude but it has no direction it has no direction so such type of quantity is called what scalar quantity so have a look it has only magnitude magnitude means it's a fixed value have a look the object is a uh, the person is moving from point a to point b in this direction so we are not considering the direction we are only take uh, so from here to here he get a uh, 6 meters from here to here he get 3 meters again here to here he get 6 meters just we are considering only the magnitude okay now we don't consider the direction magnitude means it's a fixed value magnitude means fixed value we don't want how he go he is uh, moving from east to west he is moving from north to south south to north so we didn't consider the direction just we are only consider what magnitude we are consider only magnitude we are not uh, considering the direction although he moves like this like this like this we just consider how many meters are there or how many centimeters are there how or how many meters or how many kilometers are there just we consider the magnitude we are not consider the direction so this is what distance are you getting so from figure 1 comma 2 comma 3 are called what distances are called what distances for example from point a to point b a car is moving like this a car is moving from point a to point b in this direction are you getting in this direction from point a to point b a car is moved so and it covers 3 kilometers and it covers 3 kilometers so similarly a car is moved again from b to a now in this direction so this is what direction this is what direction so now car is very good sir good car which company it is it is rakesh sir company car okay so now the car is moving now from b point to a point again it covers a 3 kilometers now what is the distance in this case it is moved in this direction in this case it is moved in this direction so what is distance the distance cover the length of your actual path between initial and final position the length of your actual path between initial and final position have a look the length of your actual path between a and b how much 3 kilometers although it is moving from in this direction the distance is how much 3 kilometers at this point the car is moving from b to a in this direction we don't consider the direction just we have to take the distance the path length between initial and final point at this condition b is the initial point and a is the final point what is the length of your actual path between b and a how much 3 kilometers we didn't consider the direction just we have to take the length between initial and final positions that is called what distance are you getting ma'am any doubts right have a look now what is displacement displacement right what is the meaning of displacement have a look <coughs> the shortest distance between the shortest distance between initial and a initial and a final position initial and a final position is called a displacement the shortest distance between initial and the final position is called what displacement have a look from the diagram we have a three parts first part second part and third part in this three point three parts what is the shortest distance between the two points absolutely the second path is the shortest distance between the two points what is that path 2 from figure path 2 is the shortest distance and it is what displacement is called what displacement are you getting the shortest distance between the two points is called what displacement from figure path 2 is the shortest distance are you getting ma any doubts note from figure it is clear that have a look 
what is this this is the length of your actual path between initial and final position then it is called what distance okay so from this uh, path 3 it is also clear that so this is the length of your actual path between final and initial positions or initial and final position then this is also called our distance this is called what distance have a look the path 2 is also what distance because it is a length of your actual path between initial and a final position and the shortest distance between initial and final position also path 2 only then this is what displacement that means path 2 is a displacement and path 2 is what distance that means in a path 2 displacement and distance are both are equal in path 2 distance is equals to distance is equals to what displacement Displace, uh, displacement is equals to distance or distance is equals to displacement from path 2 okay from path 1 and 3 1 and 3 distance is a uh, greater than displacement distance is greater than displacement are you getting this is a 3 meter 6 meter 6 meter compare with this these two are greater that means distance is greater than displacement so distance may be equals to displacement distance may be greater than to displacement therefore therefore important one distance is greater than distance is greater than or equals to displacement distance is greater than or equal to displacement are you getting distance may be equals to displacement but distance is always is greater than displacement is it clear right are you getting from this condition we can write a distance divided by displacement is greater than or equals to 1 if it is comes to this side it becomes denominator okay and uh, here one remains greater than or equals to 1 again if displacement went to this side 1 into displacement displacement are you getting any doubts right very good so see the second point the si units for the si units for distance sorry displacement are meters or what meters displacement is a displacement is a vector quantity displacement is a vector quantity so what is the meaning of vector so what is the meaning of vector it has it has both direction and a magnitude it has both direction and a magnitude magnitude means it's a constant value 3 meter 4 meter 5 meter whatever it is direction direction means in which direction it is moving either positive x direction or negative x direction or the positive y direction or negative y direction east west north south in which direction it is moving we have to consider are you getting how to take the direction and how to write the displacement in a vector form have a look right i am taking a example right so from point a to point b here we are taken a car right so here i am taking a bike a bike is moving from point a to point b a bike is moving from point a to point b and uh, the shortest distance between these two points is let us say 3 kilometers are you getting again this point uh, sorry this bike is moving from point b to point a now in this direction in this direction it is moving so here is a bike and it is moving in this direction okay what is this this is a direction this is what direction now the shortest distance between these two points is that means displacement is again 3 kilometers have a look in this example we write our distance is equals to 3 kilometers and here also in this case also in this direction also we have written 3 kilometers but in case of a representation of displacement in vector quantity we have to write write like this have a look i am taking a rectangular coordinate system two dimensional coordinate system okay so this is what x axis negative x axis y axis negative y axis now we have to represent vector form now okay, can displacement in a vector form i am taking a unit vector so unit vector means its magnitude is equals to 1 unit vector magnitude is how much 1 
and it gives the direction of a physical quantity it gives the direction of a physical quantity have a look along x axis from the origin for x axis for positive x axis i cap is the unit vector for positive x axis i cap is the unit vector so minus negative x axis minus i cap is the unit vector and for y axis j cap is the unit vector and negative y axis minus j cap is the unit vector so have a look if any object is moving towards this direction if any object moving in this direction then have a look this example so here the bike is moving in this direction the bike is moving in this direction now the displacement of the bike is equals to 3 what is 3 it's a magnitude have a look in this direction it is moving in this direction that means along positive x direction it is moving and it can be represented in vector form as a 3 i cap you can represent 3 i cap meters what is the meaning of 3 i cap now 3 means it's a magnitude i cap means it gives the direction of the physical quantity what is the physical quantity here displacement so displacement is equals to 3 i cap kilometers means the physical quantity displacement is having the 3 kilometers magnitude in a positive x direction i cap means it is gives the direction along positive x direction the displacement the physical quantity is making 3 kilometers of displacement i cap in a positive x direction are you getting i cap along positive x direction is it clear now so in this condition the bike is moving in this direction the bike is moving in this direction now we can write up displacement is equals to this direction in this direction minus 3 i cap kilometer what is its meaning the displacement of the displacement of an object is 3 kilometers minus i cap minus i cap in negative x direction same if the bike is moving in upper direction okay so from point a to point b it covers 6 kilometers now how can we write displacement is equals to 6 kilometers in upper direction upper direction what is the unit vector j cap 6 j cap kilometers so this is a displacement of an object is 6 kilometers j cap in a positive y direction are you getting it is moving from point b to a again it covers 6 kilometers now what is the displacement minus 6 j cap because it is moving in a downward direction so in a downward direction j cap is a unit vector so likewise we have to represent the displacement in a vector form are you getting right very good pause the video and write the notes 3 2 1 go right so have a look some of the examples on distance and the displacement so the first example i'm taking a mm, this is a point a and this is a point b so let us say this is a radius r an object is moving from point a to point b find out the ratio of distance and the displacement distance and the displacement find the ratio of distance and the displacement so have a look the solution right so they are given what an object is moving from point a to point b we have to find the ratio of distance to displacement what we have to find ratio of distance and the displacement distance have a look the length of your actual path between initial and final position is called what distance so this is a point a and uh, this is a point b so the length of your pa actual path is like this have a look this is a semicircular path this is what semicircular path in case of semicircle what is the length of the semicircular arc the length of the semicircular arc can be given by pi into r have a look this is a half of the circle in a circle total angle is how much 2 pi r for semicircle the length is how much pi r okay so this is the distance covered by the object how much pi into r so here they are given radius is capital r are you getting now we have to find the displacement so what is the meaning of displacement the shortest distance between initial and final position the shortest distance between initial and final position so initial position is a and final position is b and now from the center what is the radius from the center what is the radius r be the radius in this direction also from the center this is what 
this is also radius now the shortest distance between a and b shortest distance between a and b how much r plus r which is equals to 2r so now this is called what displacement of the object now this is what displacement of the object and the distance the length of your actual path and the shortest distance so therefore the ratio of you are asking what distance to displacement we have to find so what is distance pi r what is displacement 2r r r get cancel out we get pi by 2 is the answer are you getting any doubts right let us see the one more example so example number 2 find the distance and the displacement distance distance and the displacement of the following right so the object is at a point a initially and it is moved to point b it is moving from point a to point b and it covers a 3 meters distance okay so after that it is moving from point b to point c point b to point c it covers a 4 meters of distance the distance between b and c is how much 4 meters what we have to find we have to find the distance and the displacement are you getting right so pause the video and try the solution 3 2 1 go i am going to find have a look what is distance the length of your actual path between initial and final position so what is the initial position a next position b next position c the length of your actual path between initial and final position is called what distance here initial position a final position b the length of your actual path is what this one this is what the length of your actual path so therefore distance is equals to what a b plus b c are you getting length of your actual path a to c what is a b 3 meters what is b c 4 meters overall distance is how much 7 meters so this is your distance now what we have to find we have to find displacement have to find what displacement what is displacement the shortest distance between initial and the final position the shortest distance between initial and final position is called what displacement have a look from this diagram from a to c so this is what so this is the shortest distance between a and the c this is what the shortest distance between a and the c what is ac displacement have a look here one right angle triangle is formed one right angle triangle is formed so from right angle triangle this side is 3 meters and this side is 4 meters we don't know hypotenuse hypotenuse is nothing but what here displacement so from pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equals to side 1 square plus side 2 square so hypotenuse square is equals to side 1 square plus side 2 square hypotenuse square is nothing but what our displacement so displacement square is equals to side 1 square 3 square plus side 2 square 4 square so if we send the square to that side it becomes root 3 3 is a 9 4 4 is a 16 16 plus 9 root over 25 root over 25 is equals to how much 5 meters so now our displacement is equals to how much 5 meters are you getting now any doubts so this is what displacement are you getting any doubts right so note in above example in above example find out displacement in vector form in vector form and the direction of and the direction of displacement direction of displacement are you getting so write the question properly oh. what what they are asking in this example we have to find the displacement in vector form we have to find displacement in vector form also we have to find the direction of displacement how to find this have a look right solution so this is a this is b and this is c okay a to b how many meters 3 meters b to c how many meters 4 meters what we have to find displacement in vector form 
here I'm writing displacement is equals to here I told you that how to take the displacement in a vector form okay so if you draw like this so this is what positive x axis negative positive y negative y so i cap is the unit vector along x axis j cap is the unit vector along y axis minus i cap minus j cap all these things just here we are discussed okay so this is also called the east direction west direction north direction and south direction so this is about a direction i, I cap j cap k cap so whatever it is have a displacement okay now the object is moving from point a to point b point a to point b in which direction it is moving in this direction it is moving so from point o to positive x axis see so therefore this 3 meters can be written as 3 i cap 3 meters can be written as 3 i cap because the object is moving along positive x direction are you getting now have a look from point b to c the object is moving in upward direction the object is moving in upward direction see 4 meters what is the unit vector j cap plus 4 j cap so this is what the vector form of displacement this is what vector form of displacement are you getting ma? any doubts sir this is a vector form of uh, displacement is good but how can we get the phi sir here we got displacement is equals to phi and this is the vector form we have to get a phi meters this answer we want right so just to do the magnitude of displacement magnitude of displacement you will get the answer phi so magnitude means root over coefficient of i cap is what 3 just put square plus 4 square in a vector concept in detail we will discuss okay so magnitude means what 3 square plus 4 square likewise you have to find the magnitude okay right so which is equal to root over 3 square sorry root over 3 square 9 plus root over 4 square 16 16 plus 9 root over 25 now magnitude of displacement is equal to how much 5 meters 25 means what 5 we got the same answer for displacement this is magnitude this is the vector form so we got the displacement in vector form next what we have to find we have to find direction of displacement how do we find the direction of displacement direction of displacement right so have a look direction of displacement can be given by tan theta direction of displacement can, can be given by tan theta how to find tan theta value so what is the displacement vector we got so displacement vector is equals to we got 3 i cap plus 4 j cap 3 i cap plus 4 j cap that means in a coordinate system 3 i cap i cap is the unit vector along x axis that means 0 1 2 3 the point 3 is at a this position and the point 4 along j cap j cap is the unit vector along y axis we get 1 2 3 4 this is the position of the point 4 in a y direction so if you observe carefully this point the position of this displacement vector is lies in a first quadrant in a first quadrant at a 3 from a x axis and a 4 from y axis it lies are you getting now if you join the line from origin to point p it gives what slope now this slope represents what displacement what we have to find we have to find the direction direction can be given by what tan theta how to find theta just you have to take a angle theta from positive x axis up to slope from positive x axis we have to take an angle theta up to slope so what is this this is a 4 4 meters along y direction this is what 4 this is what along x direction it has a 3 meters this is 3 and this is 4 meters are you able to see clearly okay right so this is what 4 and this is what 3 and angle theta tan theta is equals to we can write opposite side by hypotenuse sorry adjacent side what is opposite side 4 is the opposite side what is adjacent side 3 is the adjacent side then tan theta is equals to we can write 4 by 3 what is the value of tan of 4 by 3 which angle we will get theta is equals to how much so i am going to right so i am going to explain one important triangle this is that is 3 4 5 triangle 
important triangle that is which triangle it is 3 4 5 triangle have a look 3 4 5 so this is a right angle right so this is our 90 degrees and uh, this is what 37 degrees and this is 53 degrees have a look 37 plus 53 90 90 plus 90 180 so the sum of the three angles in this given triangle is how much 180 degrees so important triangle and this is called a 3 4 5 triangle or 37 53 degrees triangle so important one you have to learn it are you able to see the board okay right have a look so from this triangle sin 37 sin 37 i want to write sin 37 what is sin 37 sin theta is nothing but sin theta is nothing but what opposite side by hypotenuse sin theta is nothing but what opposite side by hypotenuse what is opposite side 3 for 37 3 is the opposite side and 5 is the hypotenuse for cos 37 are you getting mark adjacent side by hypotenuse for 37 what is the adjacent side 4 is the adjacent side. What is the hypotenuse? 5 is the hypotenuse. Tan 37. So, tan 37 can be written as sin 37 by cos 37. We will get sin 37, 3 by 5. Cos 37, 4 by 5. 5, 5 cancel out. 3 by 4. Okay. So, this is these are the angles of 37 degrees of sin, cos and the tan functions. Okay. Next, I am going to write out sin of 53. Sin of 53. Have a look. Here 53 is there. Sin 53. Sin theta is nothing but what? Opposite side by hypotenuse. For 53, 4 is the opposite side and 5 is the hypotenuse. 4 by 5. Cos 53. Cos 53. For 53, 3 is the adjacent side. 3 is the adjacent side and 5 is the hypotenuse. Tan 53. Tan 53 is nothing but what? Sin 53 by cos 53. 5, 5. Cancel out and we will get 4 by 3 is the answer. You should learn this triangle. What is 37? What is 53? You have to learn. Must and should. Right. Tan 53 is equals to how much? 4 by 3. Have a look. Here we got 4 by 3. Now I am just writing this 4 by 3 as sin of 53 degrees. Sorry. Tan of 53 degrees. Tan of 53 is nothing but what? Tan of 53 is nothing but what? 4 by 3. So tan tan cancel out. Theta is equals to 53 degrees theta is equals to how much 53 degrees that means from positive x axis degrees direction the direction of a displacement is equals to how much 53 degrees from positive x axis are you getting any doubts right pause the video and write the notes three two one go Right. So, let us see the concept of a displacement. Whenever the object is moving on the circumference of a circle, we have to find its displacement. Okay. Have a look. So, what is this? It is a concept. So, let us consider this is a point O origin. From point A, an object is moving like this in a clockwise direction. From point A to point B, the object is a move like this. Okay. In a, a clockwise direction. Let us consider this is a R1 and this is a R2. This is what? R2. And the angle made by this R1 and R2, let us say theta. Theta be the angle made by the object when it is moving from point A to point B. Are you getting? R1 and R2 are the distance from point O, center. Okay, ma. Now, what we have to find? We have to find displacement is equals to how much? Okay. So, have a look. Solution. What is the definition of a, what is the definition of displacement? The shortest distance between initial and final position is called what? Displacement. See, capital A is the initial position and capital B is the final position. Now, the displacement of this object can be given by this line, right? So, this is what? Displacement of the object, D bar. The shortest distance between the two points is called what? Displacement. That is what? D bar. I am just taking the concept of vector addition. Okay. I am taking the concept of vector addition. Have a look. How is this diagram inside the circle? 
this is r1 this is d bar and now uh, this is what r2 bar and just uh, draw this diagram so this is the distance from origin to point a and this is the distance from origin to point b have a look r1 r2 r1 r2 and the d bar is in this direction so the vector addition concept says have a look r1 and d bar are in a same direction so just we add r1 bar with a d bar because these two are in a same direction have a look r2 is opposite to these two these two are in order and r2 is opposite to these two have a look it is in a downward direction in this direction opposite to these two order in order so this is equals to we can write r2 bar so r1 bar d bar order r2 bar reverse order so i am just write this equation like this are you getting okay right from this equation we need a displacement so displacement bar is equals to we can write r2 bar minus r1 bar r2 bar minus r1 bar if r1 went to that side it becomes negative sign so i am just finding the magnitude of d bar i am just finding the magnitude of d bar so what is the meaning of magnitude of d bar so from the subtraction of vectors we can write out the magnitude of d bar as r2 square plus r1 square minus 2 r1 r2 cos theta so this is a parallelogram law which law parallelogram law of vectors in subtraction in what subtraction so in our next lecture we will you will get the clarity about of parallelogram law how to add the two vectors how to subtract the two vectors everything you will get just now you learn the formula so if the subtraction of two vectors can be given by r1 r2 r whatever the first vector is there r2 square plus r1 square minus 2 r1 r2 cos theta have a look this is what we are taking circle what is this it is a circle so in case of circle from the center the radius vectors are same if it is r then this is also r from the center each and every point on the circumference of a circle are at a same distance from center so then it is clear that so this r1 is equals to how much r and this r2 is equals to how much r now r1 and r2 is nothing but what r only because they are the radius they are what radius so from the center radius is same in case of circle are you getting right so now what is we got r1 is equals to r2 is equals to r we got just substitute in this equation so under root r2 square r2 is nothing but what r square plus r1 square r square minus 2 r1 r2 cos theta are you getting now under root okay so from this we can write r square plus r square 2r square minus 2 into r into r r square cos theta are you getting under root if you take 2r square common you will get 1 minus cos theta are you getting okay so we have the formula in a trigonometric concept basic mathematics used in physics trigonometrics i told you that 1 minus cos theta can be written as a 2 sin square theta by 2 2 sin square theta by 2 now 1 minus cos theta is replaced with this formula what is that 2 sin square theta by 2 just to replace 2 r square into 1 minus cos theta 2 sin square theta by 2 which is equals to under root 2 to the 4 r square sin square theta by 2 so this is equals to root under root 4 means 2 under root r square means r under root sin square theta by 2 you will get sin theta by 2 so this is the formula for displacement when the object is moving on the circumference of a circle 2r sin theta by 2 are you getting now what is the displacement of the object when it is moving on a circumference of a circle 2r sin theta by 2 where theta is the angle between two radius vectors okay so what is the formula are you able to see the both okay right so what is that 2r sin theta by 2 okay so let us see an example right this is an example number 1 an object is at a point a and it is moving in a clockwise direction up to point b and the radius vector let us say r and this is also r now the angle between them is 120 degrees find out displacement find 
displacement. So how can we find the displacement? We have the formula. D is equals to 2R sin theta by 2. In a given question, what is theta? 120 degrees. R is nothing but what? R only. Are you getting? Right. So displacement is equals to 2R sin 120 by 2. 2 1s are 2 60s are. So which is equals to 2R sin 60. What is the value of sin 60? 2R root 3 by 2. 2 2 get cancelled out. So root 3 R. Are you getting? So theta they are given 120 degrees. 120 by 2, 60, sin 60, root 3 by 2, 2 to cancel out, root 3 into r, root 3r. That is what? Displacement. Root 3r, meters or centimeters, whatever it is. Easy one. Are you getting any doubts? Right, very good. Right, let us see one more example. Example number 2. Here is an object A and it is moving on the circumference of a circle from point A to point B in a clockwise direction. At this time, this is an angle, okay. So, where uh, radius r is equals to 2 meters and here also 2 meters, okay. Now, radius is same from the center in case of circle. Right. Find the distance, sorry, find the displacement. What we have to find? Displacement. Also, we find the distance also. What is the meaning of distance? The length of your actual path between initial and final position. Have a look. In a circle, this is what? One quarter of the circle. Now, what is its circumference? What is its length? Very sorry. What is its length? So, if you take a full circle, 2 pi r is the length of the circle. Semicircle, pi r2. If you take a quadrant, pi r by 2. Now, its distance is equal to how much? Pi r by 2 is its a distance. Okay. The actual length of a path between two points. So, nothing but the length of the one quarter of the circular arc. One quarter of the circular arc. Have a look. One quarter. If you add one more quarter, it becomes semicircle. One quarter, three by fourth circle, one quarter, full circle. Are you getting? Right. Likewise, you have to find the distance. Distance is nothing but what? The length of your actual path between final and the initial position. Likewise, you have to find the displacement. But our concept is what? We have to find the displacement. Are you getting? Right. Very good. You are a good student now. You understood everything. Right. Solution. So, in case of uh, this, in case of this concept, what is the displacement between the two points? So, displacement is equals to 2r sin theta by 2. So, which is equals to 2. What is r? 2 meters they are given. Sin. What is an angle? Have a look. This is a 90 degrees perpendicular to each other. Okay. So, 90 divided by 2. 2 ones are 2 45 are. So, which is equals to 2 into 2. 4 sin 45. What is the value of sin 45? 4 into 1 by root 2 is the answer. So, you can also write like this. 2 into 4 can be written as 2 into 2 into 1 by root 2. Okay. So, 2 is nothing but what? Root 2 into root 2. Root 2 into root 2, 2. So, if 1 root 2 and 1 root 2 in these 2 cancel out, then you will get 2 root 2 meters. So, this is what? Displacement. Are you getting? So, easy problems. Just to learn the concept, you will get. Pause the video and write the notes. 3, 2, 1, go. And uh, this is the end of the today's session. I hope you are enjoyed the lecture. I, I, I think that you are scolding me because concept is small, distance and displacement. But you made a large video on this. So, because we have discussed a displacement and what is vector, how to write the displacement in vector form and how to find the direction of the vector and what is 3, 4, 5 triangle, okay, no? and what is angle 37, 53, and all these things, okay. So, whenever the object is moving on the circumference of a circle, we are finding the displacement, and all these concepts are covered in this lecture. That's why the lecture is large. I hope with a little bit of patience, listen the lecture, and all the concepts will be clear, right. So, my name is Rakesh Kanaganti signing off. Jai Hind.